One to nothing as Bill Rosado was defeated by Stoyan Stoyanov four to two in the 105 and a half pound class. This is the 114 and a half pound class. Joe Gonzalez of the United States against Jordan Mitev of Bulgaria. The Americans are going to have to get some momentum here, Jack, if they're going to stay in this bout with the Bulgarians. The Bulgarians have bought such a fine young team. They're going to need a lot of good action. Gonzalez is one of our best young wrestlers, and we're hoping that he's going to be able to begin that momentum by getting a big win here. Well, his confidence should have been built up. He had a marvelous uh, meet over in Russia, didn't he? He certainly did, Jack. Here he's in on a nice single leg. That was a snatch single. And there's the first point. Goes to Gonzalez. one nothing on the takedown. Mark, there are three basic ways to score in wrestling. Uh, let's take a look at the demonstration. What we just saw, Jack, was a single leg takedown by Gonzalez, bringing his opponent to the mat and establishing control. That's worth one point. Here we see a reversal, which is exactly what it says when a person reverses the control position, goes from the bottom to the top. That's worth one point also. The third and most exciting way of scoring points in wrestling is the tilt, the danger situation, worth two points any time you expose your opponent's shoulders to the mat past the 90-degree plane. There's also a four-point throw, which we don't see very often. The grand amplitude, all right, here comes Gonzalez, another beautiful takedown by the American, and he is up now two to nothing on the Soviet. There are two three-minute periods in each match, we're in the first period here with the United States trailing one nothing, but Gonzalez bidding well to get us tied up. Gonzalez is a very quick wrestler and has come to prominence in international competition because of his great single legs. We need some momentum here on the, for the American team to take control of this bout. Oh, look out. Gonzalez almost in trouble there. Gonzalez goes after the head a lot on his feet, and what happens is he gets a little overextended reaching for his opponent. That was an arm throw that came from that uh, overextension. And Mitchell picks up a point. It is two to one now. In the first period. Gonzalez is going to have to do a better job controlling himself on his feet. There's a good single leg. Another takedown. Three to one. Joe Gonzalez does such beautiful single leg takedowns, Jack. He has great positioning when he goes in and he finishes them off very, very well. All right, referee Fred DeBonis now said, let's get up and start wrestling. The official can bring the wrestlers back up to their feet anytime there is no action down on the bottom position. All right, another takedown for Gonzalez. Four to one now. That was superbly executed. A double leg in very, very good position and very, very well set up. If he keeps dominating his bout like this, he's going to have an easy win over the Bulgarian. Now a little cautioning here by the referee. This is the second caution for stalling or passivity against the Bulgarian. So he'll go into the bottom position, and the referee will give the American a chance to turn the Bulgarian from the top position. This is not one of Joe's uh, strong points, is it? No, it's not. Joe has been so great on his feet that he has neglected the down position just a little bit, but I'm sure he's going to be working on it with this kind of international exposure. All right, referee Fred DeBoni says, get up, let's start wrestling. Only one second left, though, in this first period, and there it is, and Joe Gonzalez has a condolement tap. Gonzalez executed a very nice shrug there from his underhook position. He's dominating completely on his feet, and he must maintain this throughout this period if he's going to win it. We can hear the American corner yes. calling in instructions. Notice the great lateral mobility that Gonzalez has. Then he takes his shots. A nice double leg with his head right in the middle. Perfect position. There it is. Another takedown at six to one. Oh, two. Seven to one. That was a two-point exposure because Mitev was taken down to his back, Jack. Most of these wrestlers come in about three or four pounds overweight and have to work it off by weigh-in time. Joe Gonzalez came in eight pounds over last night and had to lose all of that before the bout. I asked him if it weakened him. 
I do feel weak because I'm mostly dehydrated. I'm not really hungry. I'm just dehydrated. But I know as soon as I make that weight, you know, I'm going to get to eat and drink and hope uh, put take it out on my opponent after. Because <laughs> I don't lose this weight for nothing. And so far, he has been taking it out on his opponent here in the second period. Gonzalez leads Mitev 7-1. to one. The officials are really after Mitev to keep wrestling offensively, so he's going to start trying more dangerous and reckless moves. Oh, there's two more. Nine to one. The Bulgarian's getting sloppy here, Jack. That was a weak arm drag, poorly set up. He's going to be trying more desperate moves because he knows the only way he can beat Gonzalez now is to pin him. We might mention here that a differential of 12 points about is stopped because of technical superiority. In other words, if he gets to 13 to 1, then that would be over. Gonzalez is maintaining that domination on his feet. Whoa, look out! Oh, he's giving him two. That'll bring it to 11 to 1. Jack, I don't believe that was two. I didn't think there was any amplitude or back exposure in that move. Well, uh... No, I think you're right. The Matt Chairman has signified now a one-point takedown. It is 10 to 1. But complete superiority by Gonzalez over Mitta. We're in the second period. Gonzalez is still doing a great job. There's a quick little single leg. And another one. Now we move to 11 to 1. 30 seconds left in the bout. You can see he's being called again for stalling on the bottom position. That's his third caution. He's not wrestling from the bottom. The officials feel he's not opening up enough. He'll be disqualified on the fourth caution, so he can't afford another caution. And time is running against him very much. Gonzalez in command from the beginning. You can hear Coach Desick yelling he'll be looking for the big move. And there it is, the end of the match as Joe Gonzalez of the United States